So what you're looking at here is um, the formulation of our group's work on a hovercraft project. Um, it was a competition run by Skills Ontario and our group placed in the championship round and this is our championship round build. You have a motor here, it's connected to a battery and once the current um, uh, is induced, uh, it spins the motor and it spins the propeller and the propeller pushes air this way. Um, so some air comes out the back and some air goes in uh, to here, inflating this uh, plastic bag. The competition's main goal is to get students involved in STEM um, and it's to get them involved in like uh, technology and get them prepared for university and the working uh, world. The team from here at St. Michael's Choir School in Toronto submitted their first round hovercraft results and made it through to the second round. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Yeah. Now Good teams luck. from across Ontario are competing yeah, to see who's can go the yeah, furthest, go. the fastest. We're just given a set of materials, basic materials, cardboard, paper, um, some electronics like motors. And not only did you have to make the thing hover um, like an actual hovercraft, but uh, the set distance that we had to make it go was 10 meters. Thinking along those lines is exactly what science and technology advocates are hoping will be promoted among the students during these competitions. It gives you a bit of hands-on experience, you know, working with these concepts that you, you learn in school. So applying you know, some of the stuff that you've learned about physics, perhaps, and the, the way that things work. In the hopes that that could turn into careers in STEM in the future. Especially in the last few years, there's been a lot of technological uh -huh. advancements throughout the world. And I think that's just really inspiring to get um, students to go into STEM programs. And that motivation to consider STEM careers is what this competition is all about. These students will find out the final results at the end of March. At St. Michael's Choir School, Audra Brown, City News.